Hey guys, it's Andrew from 510 Books. I want to show you how I put together a loose CD lot on eBay. And I auction these off. So let me show you. The first thing you need is a bunch of CDs. I get them usually, well, it's either donated to me or I buy in bulk. So usually it's from a Gaylord. You're going to need something like this. Which doesn't just have CDs. There's all kinds of media in here. But you see all the CDs, you're going to need something like that, a lot of them. You're going to need to figure out which ones make sense to put into a loose CD lot. Because if you sell online, of course, on Amazon, eBay, you're going to want to pull the, the high price stuff, uh, the fast moving stuff, that kind of thing, and put those on Amazon or eBay. And if you sell locally like I do, then of course you're going to want to put stuff in your local sale. But most people don't. So if it's nothing, nothing you can sell online, uh, for good money, then you're gonna want to pull those uh, discs. Accumulate enough. I would say at least a hundred plus minimum. I try to go for several hundred, two, three, four hundred. I've gone as high as a thousand CDs, and then you put them together and start the process. So for me, I accumulated all of the CDs in this box as I went through an entire Gaylord. These are all the CDs I pulled from one Gaylord. So I accumulate all of them, and then I start stack. I created this stack of a hundred. CDs. I might be off by one or two, but I counted out 50 and then I put another 50 next to it, put that on top of it, and this is 100. And then I just put the other piles next to it, measure it out. It's about even. I pull some more from here, drop them onto the stack. A few more. Oh, maybe one more. And then I have another 100. I have 400 CDs. Keep going. And then you measure them out right here. Make sure that they're about even. So it's another hundred, so that's five hundred. So now, as you can see, put it next to it. There's at least half, maybe more. I'll just say 50. So about 550 plus loose CDs. And there you go. I will have my pyramid, <laughs> upside down pyramid shape for the photo. So yeah, I will take a photo like this, snap, and uh, I might take one on the side, that kind of thing. <clears throat> but just to give them a sense of how many there are, there's four or uh, five stacks of 100 plus another 50. And yeah, it looks good in the photo for eBay. And now what I will do is I will spread out all of the CDs like this across the whole entire table, well, not the whole table, but most of the table. eight rows eight by five rows so eight rows across <laughs> sorry eight rows down and one two three four five six rows across my math is a little off uh so eight times six quick what's your what's the, what's that exactly that's the number so that's how many i put out and i will basically snap a photo of that and then I will put out another CD on top of each one. And I'll do about four or five of those photos. Now you might be saying, why would you do that? Aren't you wasting your time? Maybe, but I enjoy the process. Remember, I have an OCD brain. I like to have things organized. It's very satisfying to me. Also, possibly as a way to make more money off of these auctions, 
is people get a chance to get a sense of what's in there. So when they see four or five photos of, um, you know, all of those rows of CDs, they can zoom in and take a look and see what's in there, get a general idea, which might help uh, the bidding go up a little bit more. At least that's my thought pattern. Now I just grab some more and start putting them on top. So there's the second time. And now I take another photo. Snap. So basically you get the gist of it. I do a couple more of those and then that's it. I basically upload the photos and list it on eBay and I start the auction at 99 cents and it goes anywhere. So this will be 550 CDs. So it, it varies. Sometimes it's, a, you know, I've, I've gotten as little as less than 20 bucks all the way up to 70, 80, 90 bucks. I don't know the max, but close to 100, anywhere like 70 to 100 range. But typically it's like 20 to 50 bucks, just depending on what the CDs are and how much action it gets. So I start at 99 cents and I do seven or 10 day auctions. So it depends on the day that I start the auction. So today being Friday, if I were to start the auction today, I would make it uh, a 10 day auction so that it would end on Monday. It's important the day that you start it and the time that you start it. So in regards to the day, you don't want to start it on a Friday. Sorry, you don't want it to end on a Friday. You can start it on a Friday, but you don't want to end the auction on a Friday. Why? Because Friday, there's not going to be a lot of people on eBay looking for auctions and bidding. You're better off doing Sunday through Thursday and avoiding Friday and Saturday. Again, avoid Friday and Saturday for ending your auctions. So do the math. If you're starting it on Friday, don't end it on Friday. End it 10 days later on Monday. In terms of the time of day, I would recommend starting your auction at 4 or 5 p.m. I would say this, between 4 and about 6-ish, maybe 3. Depends on if you're if you're on the West Coast, you started at 3 p.m. It's already 6 p.m. on the East Coast. So it's I kind of like to do it at least 4 or 5 p.m. Uh, at the earliest you figure you know people getting back from work that kind of thing um, you want to take advantage of people being at their computer or on their phone or on their iPad or wherever they're going to bid from so if you're gonna don't do it in the morning don't do it in the middle of the day don't do it at 1 p.m. do it I would say 4 p.m. or later but probably not much later than 6 or 7 you don't want to be doing it at 9 and having it end I should say ending your auction at 9 or 10 or 11 p.m. because there's not going to be anybody or very few people bidding on it. So the sweet spot is probably between like 4 and 7 p.m. Okay, so remember that as well. If you're starting it at 7 p.m. on the West Coast, it's already 10 p.m. I'm sorry, if you're gonna end it at 7 p.m. on the West Coast, it's already 10 p.m. on the East Coast. So I would say maybe do it about five to six at the latest, would be my suggestion. Also, pack it really, pack it really tight in the in the box this is a box that i cut down to size now it's not packed tight because of course i'm not shipping it yet because i still have to sell it but once i have to ship it i will pack a bunch of paper in here and packing materials to make sure nothing moves around if you have things moving around i only kind of get damaged but um ups i'm sorry <laughs> the post office could possibly just open the open the box and then you could be in real trouble because they might not end up putting everything back in there. So make sure you pack it tightly. That's essentially all of my tips on how I list loose CD lots on eBay for an auction. Now you could also do buy it now. I've done that. I've done a thousand CDs for buy it now and sold it for a hundred dollars. I did it multiple times. However, it's very heavy and I don't like shipping things that are heavy media mail because they can be opened and damaged in route to the person's house. So. Also though, right on the side of the box, heavy, fragile media, fragile, heavy CDs, handle with care, that kind of thing that helps as well. So thanks for watching guys. Give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel. 
you're not already subscribed, talking about everything having to do with reselling books and media online as well as locally. See you in the next video. Stay safe.